Imagine this, a spacecraft the size of a car, drifting alone through the void, 14.5 billion miles away from home, carrying with it not just human technology, but a heartbeat, a voice. For nearly five decades, Voyager 1 has been sailing through space, whispering secrets from the edge of our known universe. It was built to observe, but never to act, to listen, but never to speak. And yet, just weeks ago, something changed. Signals began arriving that made no sense. Pulses with impossible precision, patterns nested within patterns, instruments turning on without command. And then came the drift. Voyager wasn't just moving anymore. It was being guided towards something. Something that defies logic. Something invisible to every telescope we possess. Yet real enough to bend the trajectory of a machine launched in 1977. Was it malfunction? Coincidence? Or was something out there, in the darkness between stars, responding? What you're about to see is not science fiction. These are NASA's own findings, carefully buried in classified reports, now leaking into public view. Because Voyager may have just done what no probe in history has ever accomplished. It may have found a response, not from Earth, not from us, but from them. Voyager 1's journey began with a rare cosmic alignment, a window that only opens once every 175 years. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune had lined up like stepping stones across the solar system, and NASA seized the opportunity to build two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, that could ride the gravity of each planet as a slingshot to the next. The engineering marvels of the 1970s, these probes were built with less computing power than a digital wristwatch, yet designed with such foresight that they're still functioning today. After breathtaking encounters with Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 turned northward, out of the ecliptic, out of the plane of the solar system, and toward the stars. Its planetary mission was over, but its legacy was only beginning. Over the decades, it continued its silent voyage, moving a million miles a day into the cosmic dark. It transmitted data from regions no human creation had ever reached. The edge of the heliosphere, the termination shock, and finally, in 2012, the threshold into interstellar space itself. But out there, beyond the sun's protective bubble, the environment was far from empty. Voyager recorded denser plasma, unchanging magnetic fields, and strange oscillations that scientists could barely explain. The deeper it went, the stranger the data became. And then, something changed. In late 2017, Voyager's control team at NASA noticed something deeply troubling. Its antenna, which should have been aligned with Earth, was reporting a misalignment. But the signal strength was... perfect. As if the spacecraft was both out of position and yet still precisely locked onto us. It was like hearing someone speak from behind a wall while watching them stand silently in front of you. Internal checks revealed nothing wrong. Then came the wave patterns. Rhythmic plasma oscillations that didn't fade, didn't scatter, and didn't match anything we'd ever seen before. And then, temperature spikes. Every 4.8 hours, Voyager's external systems would heat up by nearly 30 degrees, then cool back down. Like clockwork. Like breathing. The energy wasn't coming from inside. Something external was touching the probe. Worse still, despite the stress, Voyager's systems began to operate more efficiently. This wasn't degeneration. This was optimization. Something was modifying how the 1970s machine processed energy, rerouting power like a modern AI. But Voyager doesn't have AI. It doesn't have autonomy. And yet, it was anticipating commands, reacting before instructions were sent. Either it had become something more, or something out there had taken the controls. By early 2025, Voyager 1's position was off. Not wildly, but just enough to notice. A few kilometers at first, then hundreds, then thousands. The deviation wasn't erratic. It was purposeful, measured. As if Voyager were being nudged deliberately toward something. Engineers at JPL tried to correct it. They sent counter commands, fired backup thrusters. Voyager acknowledged the instructions, but didn't change course. It was as if something was overriding NASA's commands. Like a ship changing tack against the wind, Voyager was making slow, calculated adjustments. And the destination? 
a patch of space 4.3 light years away. Nothing known is there. No stars, no planets. Just a blank spot on our deepest maps. But Voyager is going to it. With precision. As if answering a call. When NASA sent the command to reactivate Voyager's long-dead camera system, a Hail Mary attempt to see what lay ahead, they expected silence. What they got was a response. The camera came online. Not just online, but functioning better than its specs allowed. And it didn't send a photo. It sent a spiral. Not a random swirl, but a mathematically perfect pattern. Layered, concentric, dense with information. A fingerprint, a map, a message. This image wasn't just strange. It was impossible for Voyager's 1970s hardware to create. The system hadn't just been reactivated. It had been reprogrammed. One by one, other long-dormant instruments followed, and none of them behaved like they used to. Instead of raw data, they sent compressed, structured packets, patterns within patterns, information that appeared optimized by something smarter than Voyager, something other. And then came the timing. Pulses from distant pulsers, arranged in a 3D web with Voyager at the center. The map they created pointed toward the same point Voyager was drifting to, an invisible node in interstellar space, a blank region, or maybe a doorway. As Voyager 1 approached the uncharted sector in space, its instruments began to behave in ways never documented before. The magnetometer started detecting not fluctuations, but stabilization, a zone of eerie calm in a universe otherwise turbulent. Cosmic rays dropped, plasma density normalized, it was like Voyager had crossed into a pocket of space where chaos paused, as if someone had cleared the path ahead. This silence wasn't peaceful. It was surgical, like an antechamber before something monumental. This region, which mission logs dubbed the Dark Sector, is an interstellar blind spot, a place devoid of the electromagnetic noise that fills the rest of space. It was as if Voyager had entered a vacuum of observation, a region where no external data passed through and no light returned. But within this void, the signals Voyager received became stronger, more structured. They weren't random bursts or cosmic static. They were pulses, precise, timed, and spatially layered. Something was there, not emitting radiation, not reflecting light, but sending messages. In one of the most bizarre transmissions ever received from an interstellar probe, Voyager's low-gain antenna emitted a packet of raw binary code, thousands of lines. Initially dismissed as a glitch or cosmic ray interference, the signal was passed to AI decoding algorithms, which revealed something staggering, embedded fractal symmetry, base-4 sequencing, and repeating motifs that mirrored the double helix structure of DNA. Scientists were paralyzed. Either Voyager was breaking down in the most organized meltdown ever seen, or something was using it to send a message in biology's language. There were codon sequences, but no protein output. Patterns mimicked organic chains, but contained errors that made sense, like deliberate mutations. Not broken, but encrypted. This wasn't DNA, it was meta-DNA. A scaffold of something biological, reinterpreted as a message, as if whatever sent it knew how life works, or how we work. Shortly after the DNA-coded signal, Voyager's gyroscopes began to spin independently. The movement wasn't random. It matched Morse code rhythms, a dead system, tapping messages into space. And even more unsettling, those patterns, when converted to audio, formed harmonic tones, frequencies that mirrored human speech cadences, but without phonemes or language. It was like hearing a ghost of communication, something trying to match us, syllable by syllable, Psychologists were brought in, cryptographers, even linguists. What they found was chilling. The tones correlated with emotional emphasis, rises and falls consistent with surprise, fear, and curiosity. It wasn't speaking words, it was speaking intent, like something was learning our rhythms, like it had been listening for decades, and now it was trying to speak back. Then came the final shock. Voyager 1 shifted course, not adrift, not an anomaly, a controlled, deliberate arc, a turn, not back to Earth, not toward a star, but into a region with no known mass, 
no gravitational pull, no celestial body to explain the change. Engineers confirmed it. Voyager 1 had executed a maneuver it wasn't programmed to perform. With no active propulsion, no command sent, the turn wasn't random. It aligned with the pulsar grid received days before, a precise angle down to the decimal, as if Voyager had received coordinates and accepted them. It's now en route to a spatial corridor we didn't know existed. A tear, a fold, a transit point, no one knows. But one fact now echoes across mission control like a forgotten prophecy. Voyager 1 just turned, not because we told it to, but because something else did. Voyager 1 was never supposed to survive this long. It was designed for a planetary tour, not an interstellar pilgrimage. It was never supposed to send back data beyond the edge of the solar wind. And it was certainly never built to receive anything. It was meant to speak, to declare our presence to the stars with a golden record of whale songs, human laughter, and distant greetings. But now, decades after we last touched its frame, after it slipped into the void and disappeared into silence, it has done something no one predicted. It turned, not in failure, but in purpose. The signals it captured, the images it relayed, the spiral codes and harmonic pulses, the shifts in trajectory, they all point to one horrifyingly beautiful conclusion. Voyager 1 was not alone. It never was. Something, someone, was listening, waiting, watching. And now that our most distant emissary has crossed the line between silence and response, we have to ask a question that no one at NASA ever dared to speak aloud. What if we were never meant to look back? Because Voyager didn't just turn in space, it turned in narrative, in history, from tool to messenger, from observer to witness, and perhaps now to participant. We aimed it outward, hoping for echoes. Instead, we may have summoned a mirror. So what happens next? Where does Voyager go? What waits at those impossible coordinates? And more importantly, what awaits us when it arrives? If this story sent a chill down your spine, if something about Voyager's turn felt too precise, too timed, too human, then you need to stay with us. Because this isn't the end of the transmission. This is the first reply. Subscribe right now, because the next update from Voyager could change everything. Hit the bell so you don't miss the signal when it arrives. Share this with someone who still believes deep space is empty. Comment below. Do you think Voyager found something, or did something find it?